what is up guys we are back here with another tournament pack opening so i should kind of skip this tournament pack 23 it is two tournament tournament packs ago so the reason why is i felt like the alties were i mean they were decent you know you have enemy controller and i forgot who else actually it may, maybe diviner of the herald i honestly forgot what key, what alties are in this set so actually I'll, i guess i'll be surprised except you know i know enemy controller is in here um but yeah it just kind of felt like they weren't that good but you know I, I got these decently priced on ebay and i thought you know i needed something to open on the channel so why the hell not Anyways, without further ado, let's see how many alties we can do. I did buy a hundred, a hundred box, a hundred boxes, a box of a hundred packs. So we're going to do a couple videos here, but uh, pulling the rug, super rare DD Crow common. That is pretty, pretty dope. Actually, I, I kind of want to see how many DD Crows uh, we do. And pulling the rug is actually a pretty, pretty decent. It's holding decent value in the market. Um, and I guess we're going to have to do the, the, uh, the pack trick here. All right, Supreme King Gate Zero, Watt Chimera, and then TG Trident Launcher. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm pretty sure Diviner of the Herald is is in here as a, as an ulti, but I don't know. I'm kind of uh, doubting myself on that one. Supreme King Gate Zero again, and then a TG Hyper Librarian pulling the rug. Hell yeah, let's go. All right. Let's see. Oh man, I'm kind of nervous. TG Booster Raptor. Dark, Dark Hole Common. Okay, the commons might actually be like actually pretty decent in here then. Dark Hole and DD Crow. Like, I'm not saying Dark Hole is a good card, but you know, collector for, for a collector's a common Dark Hole from a, a tournament pack might actually be decent. TG Hyper Librarian, another pulling the rug. Let's go. We're seeing a lot of repeats, so maybe I should shuffle these or just pick random uh, packs here because uh, they might be there might be a pattern here, you know. All right, let's see. We got Supreme King Gate Infinity, Odatic Water Lily, and then Emergency with an exclamation mark. All right, yeah, that's right. So around this time. It was definitely the fire meta, but it was, uh, what were they called? The, the fire machines that were being used with, uh, oh, super heavy samurai motorcycle. That's kind of nice, actually. I do like that. Pretty dope. It's kind of miscut, so I'm kind of wondering, I'm, kinda, I'm curious if all the other cards were also miscut there, but, uh. Yeah, so they was they were being used with snake eyes basically. I think around this time, because it was about. I mean, actually, that, that it could have been like a year ago at the, at this point now. T T G I, E M I. Okay, back to back. There you go, and then Soul of the Supreme King channel shout out. Nice. By the way, the channel is not named Supreme King because of Arc V or Five. It's because of Jaden. So, TGEMI, and another Supreme King Dragon, and then Soul of the Supreme King. Weird that they're including those cards in, in a tournament pack, though. Because, again, and I, I can't believe I'm stressing this enough. I, I haven't stressed this enough, apparently, I should say. They, they shouldn't be printing stuff that isn't played in tournaments uh, in this pack. Like It should be cards that people really are using in tournaments or should be using in tournaments if that makes sense and again i don't i don't think any supreme king dragon card was doing good in tournaments around this time so i could be wrong but uh tg booster raptor dark hole nice oh oh yeah okay that's right so it's okay this isn't bad then just because of labyrinth labyrinth cards um I mean, yeah, the the, the the Labyrinth gang is definitely, they're, they're they're crazy. They're a crazy bunch. So we'll see. Off the top of my head, it's probably like 20 bucks, but maybe it'll do some something, something in the future. But our first ulti boy is not bad. It's actually, oh, it's not bad on the back either. Usually they are, they're not that good, uh, to say the least. So maybe it is Diviner of the Herald in here. Okay. Uh, TG Booster Raptor, and then uh, Dinomorphia 
intact. Now, you guys might be saying that I said tournament packs should have tournament staples or cards that should be included in decks so you can win tournaments. And then I kind of like Dark Hole, right? But Dark Hole was a tournament staple at a point, right? So that's my excuse, at least. I don't think any of the uh, Supreme King cards that we pulled were tournament staples, but again, I mean, I, I don't, I don't want to read all of them. It seems like we're getting quite a bit of them, too. Um, I don't want to read them. So, yeah. Anyways, DD Crow, uh, common TG X. Uh, is it Roman ru numerals? Like, uh, no, that's a one. I, I don't know, man. Super heavy samurai motorbike or motorcycle. Did I call it motorbike or motorcycle originally? Hmm. All right. Come on, man. Let's do another, another ulti. I. That might actually be an ulti. All right, boys, we're taking a quick pause here from the video so I can do another giveaway. The One of the latest uh, videos I uploaded had a tremendous engagement from you guys. Thank you, a lot of likes, a lot of views. So I'm giving away Heretic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres, QCR, as a giveaway. So to qualify, you have to be publicly subscribed. You have to like this video. You have to have an American United States of America address. And the phrase will just be Heavenly Spheres. So put somewhere in, in a comment in this video, Heavenly Spheres, and I know you entered. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks, guys. Let's keep the engagement going. That might be an ulti, but uh, we got Ogdatic Remnant, Ogdatic Water Lily. Oh, yeah, that's definitely an ulti. And it's a spell. So, it, yeah, it's Enemy Controller because it's the only spell in here, I believe. So then it, I'm pretty sure it's Diviner of the Herald is going to be the third one. But that looks nice, man. It's kind of unfortunate that they reprinted this, like, right away, basically, in the Rarity Collection. But, uh, I mean, I'll still take it. This is this is pretty nice. Again, it's not a tournament staple. Um, so I feel like they should do two packs, right? Like, the a tournament pack and then a, a like, a supplement pack for archetypes that got support recently, right? Uh, so, like, for example, let's say... Let's say heroes get new support in a main set. Then the supplement pack would reprint heroes for people that don't have, uh, you know, the, the past format heroes or whatever. So, also, it would give them an excuse to give higher rarity printings to other stuff that isn't just tournament staples and whatnot, like enemy controller. But uh, it'd be so, uh, without, you know, pissing off the competitive scene. Anyway, so Labyrinth, uh, I was going to say something else. Kook, I'm not going to, I don't know, man. I, I'm going to say something bad. I swear I can't. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. All right, so moving on. What do we got here? We got uh, Shino Birds Calling, Odatic Water Lily, and then Emergency. All right, all right. I think we're seeing quite a bit of variety now, but I feel like we're still kind of missing some supers. Ogdatic Remnant, Dark Hole common again. Hell yeah. And then a motorbike. Yeah, the motorbike looks awesome. It reminds me of the of the D, D wheels. Is that what they're called? The the motorcycles from 5Ds. I'm pretty sure they're called D wheels. Um Ogdatic Remnant, Dark Hole again. Let's go. And then wait, was that was the same pack back to back, no? I think that was the same pack back to back. Yo, that was the same pack. Or the contents. Back to back. That is pretty crazy. Alright. Uh Dark Hole Common. Uh we got HL and another pulling pulling the rug. That is such an OG card too. Pulling the rug was from uh I think it was Power Not Power of the Elements. What was it? Strike of Neos, I believe. Yeah, S T O N. I think it was Strike of Neos. TG Hyper Library Librarian Common Emergency Super Rare. Okay, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, blast from the past here. I mean, yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. White White Chimera or Watt Chimera. Another Samurai Motorbike. Those damn motorbikes. What? Wonder why they included uh, Super Heavy in here. Was it around the time where people were going crazy for the new Super Heavy support? That might be it. Oh, look at that. Another pack where it's the same common. That's pretty interesting. Uh, emergency. If you guys didn't see the, the last video, it was uh, Tournament Pack 25. I kept getting packs with uh, four, 
four cards instead of three, and it would have two supers in them. So it seems like Konami is just, you know, all over the place with these packs, which, uh, I mean, I'm cool when they throw in extra extra hollows, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, they're still... They're doing some weird stuff for sure there. All right, TG Trident Launcher, super rare. We are winding down. I think we have maybe seven packs left after this, so maybe we can do another ulti. We shall see. Supreme Ga King Gate Infinity. Wait, that, it might have not been the same card then. So there's Supreme King Gate Zero and then Infinity. Got it. Okay. Dynamorphia intact, which is kind of interesting because Jaden Dual Darkness, and he was using Zero and Infinity, tra the trap cards, wasn't he? And now they're Supreme King, Gate Zero, and Infinity. It's kind of a cool callback, I guess. Uh, Dynamorphia intact. All right, Dynamorphia, man. They're, they're annoying, actually. If that's the one I'm thinking of, yeah, that's the argument I'm thinking of. They're really annoying because um, once they have their... Their, their pieces on the board, man. Like, you can't do anything. It's it's basically a one-sided uh, skill drain. And, yeah, they just have so much advantage with their dang trap cards and whatnot. Odatic Water Lily. And then Emergency Super. All right, four packs. One more Ultra, maybe. Let's see. Let's see if we can do that. Dark Hole, though, common. Nice. DD Crow. Hey, look at that. I was just going to say, I wonder how many I've pulled, and I got two back-to-back. -back. That is awesome. All right. Let's see. Supreme King, Dragon, Dark Worm, Gate Zero, and then a Motorbike. I think Motorbike is the, the super that's overrepresented here, if I'm not mistaken. All right, T-G-I-E-M-I, -I, gate zero. Oh, I mean, speaking of, look at that. That is crazy. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven poles. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. Now, it'll probably even out, you know, because this is just a fraction of the uh, 100 packs in the box, but uh, still kind of interesting how that works out. Uh, gate zero, Watt Giraffe, and... I mean, okay, there we go. The eighth motorbike. God dang. All right. I hope I don't see any more motorbikes in the other uh, openings here. But uh, unless I skipped a few here, we got quite a bit of uh, DD Crow commons and dark holes. It seems about even uh, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one more dark hole. I, li I like this uh, personally. And then we did pull two alties, so that ain't bad. Big Welcome Labyrinth, uh, Trap, Ulti, and then Enemy Controller, which unfortunately got reprinted in the Rarity Collection, so it's less cool pulling it, but uh, still going to look nice in my collection because, of course, you know, whenever you pull these and they don't come just absolutely uh, damaged on the back, I'm not saying they're perfect, it seems like there's some edge wear, but at least they're not damaged through the... Um, through the back there like they usually are so anyways catch you guys in the next one